In this video, I'm talking about the Resound Enzo 3D High Power and Super Power Hearing Aids. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and Founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. In my clinic, I often recommend hearing aids from up to four different major manufacturers. But when it comes to individuals with a severe to profound hearing loss, I get a little bit more picky. However, one of my favorite hearing aids to fit on individuals with severe to profound hearing loss is the Resound Enzo 3D 8.8 and 9.8 line of devices for three main reasons. Number one is that they crank out the volume. The 8.8s are the high power version of the Resound Enzo 3Ds. As you can see here, they have a wide fitting range that tops out above 105 decibels. They are perfect for individuals with severe hearing losses and individuals who are prone to ear infections or draining ears who can't wear a receiver in the canal technology. The 9.8s are the super power version of the Resound Enzo 3Ds. As you can see with the 9.8s, the fitting range is extended all the way up to 120 decibels across the frequency range. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the fitting ranges for the 8.8s on your left and the 9.8s on your right. The 9.8s wouldn't be suitable for individuals with thresholds below 60 decibels, but if you have a really profound hearing loss, you can't find a hearing aid more powerful than the Enzo 3D 9.8s. Number two is that I believe they have the best smartphone app in the industry. Now there's going to be some of you out there who disagree with me on this one and that's okay, but in my experience working with all of these different manufacturers and their apps, I happen to think that the Smart 3D app is as good as it gets. The app gives you the ability to change volume in both hearing aids at the same time or separately in each ear. You can easily switch to different programs and accessories. With the accessories, you can adjust the amount of volume coming from the accessory in relation to what you hear from the hearing aids. You can even mute the hearing aids so you get no distractions from the sound around you. The sound enhancer allows you to modify the bass, mids, and treble that you're getting in each particular program that you're in. With the Resound Assist, you can request a programming change from your hearing care professional while sitting at home in your pajamas. It guides you through a series of questions so your hearing care provider has an idea of what changes to make. You can even use GPS to locate your lost hearing aids and use the Bluetooth signal to determine how close or how far you are away from your hearing aids once you get in the area, but hopefully you'll never have to use that feature. Now if you're the type of individual who does not want to use the smartphone app or doesn't even own a smartphone, then don't worry, you can still use the Enzo 3Ds without connecting them to a phone. Number three is the ability to stream phone calls. Individuals with severe to profound hearing loss typically struggle a lot on the phone. In fact, there's a lot of individuals who don't even try to talk on the phone anymore. But when you can stream sound into both ears at the same time, your ability to understand speech goes up dramatically. And when you stream directly from an iPhone into hearing aids that are programmed correctly to your hearing loss prescription, there's a chance that you'll probably hear better on the phone than you ever have before, and definitely better than what you hear on the landline. In fact, the cell phone will probably replace your landline in terms of which device you prefer to talk on. Not only can you stream phone calls, but you can stream any audio directly from an iPhone. You can't do an Android at this time, but from an iPhone you'll be able to stream things like podcasts, music, or even YouTube videos. As much as I like the Enzos, there's actually two things that I'm not a huge fan of when it comes to these devices. Number one is the look of the devices. I just happen to think that the Enzo look is not a very good one. I mean, if, from an aesthetically pleasing standpoint, these wouldn't be at the top of my list. It's a good thing they work so well. Now I understand that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so if you happen to think that these devices are aesthetically pleasing to you, then that is great. This is merely my opinion. The second thing that I'm not crazy about is that the Resound ear molds for the Enzos are hit and miss, meaning sometimes I get ear molds in from Resound and they absolutely fit perfectly. And then there's other times I'm thinking like, are these the right ear molds for this patient? Am I missing something here? So just be patient. Eventually they will get it right. You just need to make sure that you have enough time to go through that whole process. Negatives aside, the Resound Enzo 3Ds are an excellent choice for individuals with a severe to profound hearing loss and who want Bluetooth connectivity with a smartphone and want to directly stream audio from an iPhone or any one of the great Resound accessories. 
Now, if you've seen my other videos, you know what I'm gonna talk about next. It does not matter how good your hearing aid is or how much money you spent on it if that hearing aid hasn't been fit and programmed correctly to your hearing loss prescription. Now, the only way to ensure that your hearing aids are programmed correctly to your hearing loss prescription is to have real ear measurement done on them. Now, if you don't know what real ear measurement is, I highly recommend that you watch my video that I will link in the card up here and in the description below. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.